Monday morning, November 7th, approximately 4.40 a.m. All the street cats were fed and counted for given fresh water. I was looking back at my daily journal videos like this one, and they essentially go back all the way to January. There are only 54 days left in 2022, so I've written and performed a short monologue every day this year. You would have think that I've gotten more traction or more views, or at least enough to keep the bills and lights on. However, I'm not complaining. I'm really proud of what I've done this year, and I'm in a really great position. A lot of times I have not been in such a good position. I've gotten more than 5 million views on my videos this year, and look what I had for breakfast today. However, all of my views equals less than 100 total book sales, and even though I've received $10,000 in donations, I've only found a dozen or so of cats' homes. I'm not complaining. And I'm grateful to have a roof over my head and it's for me and my babies as well, as well as the street cats. I think about my blind cat, Heidi, or the current blind cats like Sylvester living on the streets. If a street cat could play prey under the moonlight, they would pray for my safety and survival. They would pray I keep a roof over my head and enough resources to put food in all the little kitties' bellies. Many people are having a hard time in life right now. It's not the best for small businesses. 40% of them cannot pay the rent. Those New York City office buildings, they're never going to be filled again. And I have never seen more corruption or out-of-touch and senile politicians on both sides of the aisle in United States history. Tomorrow is election day. The left is running on abortion and racism, and the right is running on the fear of high crime and canceling the clock app. It's all a bunch of malarkey, if you ask me. They have not sent me my ballot to vote, so I'm probably just going to sit this one out. I'm sounding a bit apathetic today, and the goal pulse will always move further in life no matter how far you go. However, I always thought I would be further in life by now, especially this last year where I dedicated myself on concentrated on what I'm good at, which is reading, writing, and communication. I also made a cat feeding montage almost every day this year. Other people have asked me too, they're like, why don't your videos have more views? I felt the same way I did in my 20s and 30s when somebody asked me, why aren't you a famous actor in Hollywood? Did I miss the sign up? Where do I stand in line? It makes you feel like I'm doing something wrong or I took a bad turn down the line. There is some comfort where I look at my black cat Lucky or little Peach with her cleft lip or the way Goofy looks at me or how blind Heidi relies on me and how the street cats rely on me. None of these majestic creatures I would have come across if I did not come to live in this apartment. So I'm not complaining. Having a little more security because I have so many mouths to feed would do me some good and give me more sleep. But I take responsibility for my actions, and I must have made some mistakes in the past. I used to smoke cigarettes for 20 years. That was a mistake. I used to eat fast food often. That was a mistake. I used to hang out with and try to help losers. They never did anything for me, and not everyone deserves to be around me. I haven't been perfect, but I'm also humble enough to change and learn from my mistakes. I'm willing to work hard and go the extra effort, but I refuse to sell my shirt self short and work at a no-like waste job for somebody else. I refuse to work a crap job. I've done too many in my life. Not everyone deserves to be around me and fewer people deserve me to have them working for them.